Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as Venice. So, I am kind of shocked. There are less civs in this game than normal, than, than like the normal uh, map size I usually play on, and yet, I am getting beaten to all these wonders even with the tech lead. So, this is a weird game. But anyway, uh, we want the Porcelain Tower, because the increase from research agreement is great. And I can ally with another city, state... Okay. Take the missionary because I'm going to delete it anyway. Sweet. So that's a good amount right there. Wait, is this trade route? Do I have a trade route with you? should. But anyway, we're getting my religion spread out quite a bit. Lots of gold per turn. We're getting 32 gold from religion now. The fact that I can have all of these just trade ships out to convert people. Like, we got a friggin' Polish great profit over here. It's annoying, but whatever. It will be dealt with shortly. I don't really care if he converts these guys. I'm just going to convert them back, and that just means that they lose a lot of their pressure. Okay, yeah, well, not going to just hits this guy. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Wait, 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 what? Everybody wants Cape Town, apparently. Okay, that's a problem. Close enough. back. Can I gift you? No. That would be funny. But I'm not getting any gold for you for dealing with you in my territory, so why bother? Does Milan really not have any pressure from me having a trade route with them? Hmm. Does anybody want a trade route? You do. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sounds fine by me. Get chemistry pretty quick. What's my current production? 50? Oh, he... No, he's gone. Okay, so I say, like, he still has another use. Nope, he used his last use up. It just shows him moving away. Because apparently the AI can do that. Like, it only costs an action and they have, like, three movement. Because cheats. People longing for culture. Wherever we look, the work of the chemist has raised the level of our civilization. Yeah, I have the lead. Sweet.
Oh, who's enacting to embargo city states? You're a jerk! I'm gonna double nay that. Who has the Forbidden Palace? Wait, oh yeah, Rome does. Like a jerk. Natural wonder. So I gotta find a natural wonder. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? I do have another ship available, and I don't think the barbarians are gonna be bothering me for very. for any real period of time, so. I guess I can send them up both my ships. Oh, that's not good. Be smart, Columbo. <laughs> Take out the ship. Everybody's searching for science. How am I doing with that? Six techs. I have the lead with zero technologies. The lead. I have the lead. I have the lead. I have the lead. Yeah, I think Columbus is going to get taken next turn. Sanbano! You? Okay. Don't take out my city states, darn it. Okay, down there. You can come up here. What was your previous trade route? Yeah, sure. So what's my production at now? Come on. It only increased by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Yes, Cosmic Peace with Tyre he takes out Columbo. What a jerk. Seriously? Oh, people are just gathering copper. Oh, apparently I'm trading out all of my copper. Huh. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Well, the deal's got to end sooner or later. Yes, definitely. Okay, so I need to kind of save up. I'm going to save up 3,000 gold in order to. So I'm going to get secularism. Save so 3,000 gold in order to get the three uh, guys in order to get. The three. Yeah, what am I thinking? Factories in order to get my ideology quickly. And I'll just save up whatever culture that I have currently after I get my next policy because it's the only other one I really, really want. Seriously? I'm not going to be too mean with you because I'm not ready for war. I'll be speaking with lots of people if that does go through. No, they couldn't work that ivory because of the barbarian encampment, huh? It's kind of 
funny. No, we're gonna stay friends. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Darn having Alexander and Genghis Khan at this game, but at least they're doing the worst score wise. Seriously though, if I get if they embargo city states, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna have to repeal that like right away. Uh, LA Brussels. Seriously? That timing. Uh Okay, we're gonna get secularism. That's a sweet boost. Plus I get 10% of that. Oh, there's a natural wonder. Krakatoa, once again, in the middle of nowhere. Let's see, this actually may pass. That would be interesting. Because there are a lot of civs that have wonders. We'll have to see the vote. I would be surprised, I would kind of be surprised if it did. I have to reassign so many ships if I can't trade with city states. Which is actually okay because I'll probably end up with more gold per turn. I just won't be able to like spread my religion as effectively and stuff like that. Yay, lots of Jeez, lots of stuff. night. Okay, well, you're gone. I don't need you. Yes, the Embargo City State fails! Wait, did, wait, did they... Hold on, hold on. Did they both give me what I wanted? Culture Heritage Act was passed! <laughs> it was passed! And this was not! Oh my gosh! I was successful! Sweet! Let's see, we could enact World's Fair, but I don't really want those. Um, I could go for the World Religion. Actually, by that time, we'll probably have a vote. So let's... Let's see, who doesn't like that? Lots of people, okay. But I will have an, at least one extra vote, and I'm pretty sure that, that we'll be... Yeah, we'll definitely be in the next stage by then, and I should have lots of city-states at my beck and call in order to pass whatever the heck I want. Sure. How's my tourism doing? Because I want to make sure that... I want to make sure that I... Uh... Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all going to not like me for the... Okay, that's okay. I will accept that, but I want to focus on my economy... And buying research agreements is a great way to boost my science even further. And getting the porcelain tower will be an excellent boost to that. On top of the great scientists, I could just plop down with Venice being as big as it is. Once again, how am I doing culturally? Economics, beautiful. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna save up until I can make sure I can buy fact. Well, I have to make sure I have coal too. So there's not. I'm not gonna save up beyond, I guess. Let's go on 
spent 1,000 of it. I hope I have coal. Um, if not, I can tell a city state to improve that resource, actually. And if so long as there's not a mine currently there... Like, it's really stupid, because if there's a mine currently... Or if there is the appropriate improvement on a resource, you cannot tell them to improve it and get it. But, if there is not an appropriate improvement on it, then you can tell them to improve it, and then you'll immediately get it. So they should probably fix that one way or the other, where the city-states have to know it, and, uh... Yeah, both the city-states have to know it at the same time you do, or something like that, because it's, it's just kind of messed up otherwise. That's interesting. So, one, two, three, four. I think I'll hit these four with my next great profit. But I still need more faith per turn. I need to go down commerce, too. Should I do that next? You know what? I should probably do that next so I can get Big Ben. Which is going to be very important. I do not have the culture I need in this game. That or my science is just progressing too quickly. Let's see. A temple. Oh, I almost got a natural great scientist. Yeah, next turn. Wow. I'm going to my next great merchant even further, but that's okay. Are my specialist slots full? No? Really? It's okay. Even as Venice, they don't value great merchants. Jerk. Oh, you are spreading it. I was wondering what was going on. Jeez, that's a lot of pressure. I need to hurry up and get my next red profit. Oh, it's coming. How's it doing in terms of gold? 35 gold per turn? That's, you know, pretty significant. That's 10% of my gold, pretty much. Hello there. Nice to have coal in one of these, but we'll have to see. Yes, I am dominating the pressure. Sweet. So in order for them, him to flip it back, he'll have to actually straight up convert them. Which he appears to be doing. Lovely. Wait, don't I have the most faith per turn? Yes? Oh my gosh. Merchant of Venice. Okay. Yeah, my copper back. Perfect. Make a couple people happy if I remember right. You and you. We allied with you pretty quick. Longing for culture, well, that's fine. Unit from Annoy. Oh, another. Must give in that I don't care for. Plop it down. Alright, who to ally with now?
40 turns, I'm pretty sure we're going to get into the industrial era. Because I'm not that far ahead in tech. Uh, I don't, at least I don't think I am. I'll probably start pushing ahead here pretty quickly, actually, because my science has doubled relatively quickly. Well, we can hope. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna need a lot of policies because I need to get commerce, at least the first one in commerce. I mean, I would like to finish commerce, but I don't think it's gonna happen as I need to get a lot. Oh my, did they see, how did they flip? That was a missionary, wasn't it? How on earth did they possibly, could they possibly have flipped it? I mean, it's okay because it's not going to mess up my pressure. Oh, I guess it will. Gosh darn it! How, though? They get, like, super strong guys or something like that? Actually, the biggest question is why on earth that's not giving me... A, uh... Giving me pressure. Okay, I don't want you. Bye. Nor do I want you. Goodbye. Yeah, we're just gonna save up my gold until I can see where I can get coal from. Hopefully from someone I'm already allied with. So I can just tell them to improve it, get lots of it, and then use it. Trading with Geneva? Siri! Oh, you jerk. I'm only getting six gold from that instead of 22. You're a jerk. Jerk, jerk, jerk. Still economics. Oh my gosh. Sambano. Yeah, he says he won't, but Oh yeah, we want to keep on trading. I'm liking this so far. I mean, we got three great scientists in pretty quick succession. That was through my city, from a city state, and then from a wonder. That's going to be a nice little boost. Seeds investors, okay. Oh, they actually wanted me to build it? Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, it works for me. Indo 
Yay. Yeah. So I can put them in. Oh, we got more. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so I don't have any copper, but Ur does. But I cannot tell them to improve research because it's already got a bloody mine on it. So the question is, who has coal that I'm already allied with and it's not improved? Ur is the one in question. Uh-oh, where are they at? Wow, look at all that coal. Now I can purchase a factory here. And then we'll just save it for a couple more factories in these two places. And then pretty quickly you'll be able to we'll be able to build that. So let's see. Uh, Tech-wise, we are in the leads. Whoa. Who do I want to kind of mess up? How much influence do you have? 55. Oh, that's pretty big. 82. Okay, we'll go ahead and send you over to Panama City. And move you to Venice. Sounds good enough to me. I never checked how I was doing. I have the most, but not by much, because Brazil is going to be a bit of a worry. But I am exotic with everyone, at least, which is good. Really, Tire? I just got three of them. Jeez. Seriously, well, he was moving. Deity. Okay. Uh, Grand Temple next. Sure, we'll just get that done. Those village pressure will be good to kind of help me out here. And we'll get that done. They'll probably go for Big Ben next. But anyway, uh, it is three, turn 310. We're not a great manufacturer good, but the, these right here are total for, from all of your cities. So it's not really surprising. I have the weakest soldiers, which isn't that surprising because I don't really have anything of an army. But we're only, like, it's not that far behind, so we'll have to see. Anyway, before I forget, let's purchase a factory in here. And it's going to be a little bit of time before I can get in Florence as well, but I think that'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, I'll get commerce and then we'll kind of save up culture for my ideology. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.